Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Superbrick501, and today I want to go over a loot cave farm that is incredibly good for a wide range of reasons. From character experience, skinning experience, to making tons of gold from selling the materials you get here, from getting tons of loot drops, and even getting a good chunk of Azoth bottles. Now, a few things we're gonna have to get out of the way. So first off, you're going to want to be around a level 20 because you're gonna be killing a level 25 elite. You're going to want to have skinning at around level 50 because a lot of the resources from this farm are going to be from skinning the enemies you're killing. And then finally, you're going to need at least six people doing this farm. If you have any less than six, this farm will not work. So the location of this farm is going to be in Monarch's Bluff at the bottom right of the map in a cave called Lodestone Lair. And inside that cave, there's going to be one big elite Lodestone Bear. And this bear is always going to spawn in the puddle in the middle of that cave. And baseline, it has a one minute respawn timer. But with a lot of the elites or boss enemies in the game in the open world, if you get a ton of people in that area, they will start to respawn a few seconds after they're killed us essentially making them a instant respawn or a close to instant respawn, allowing you to just kill them incredibly quickly. And this is why you need six people, because once you get six people into this cave, this bear will start to respawn a second or two after it is killed which just starts hyper driving this farm. And you do need six. We did test this. Five people won't work. Once you get six in the area, anywhere in the cave, even sometimes people outside the cave will start to make the bear spawn incredibly quickly. Now you can also get more people than six and the spawn will get even better because if you get more people than six, it will actually start to generate additional bear spawns in this cave. So as you'll see in the video, we're actually getting three different different bear spawns that all spawn a few seconds after they are killed. And that is from having more than six people. I'm not sure if it's one or two people additional that you need for every additional bear spawn in here, but getting over six, you'll start to get these additional bear spawns, which will make the farm much more ridiculous. And that's essentially the entirety of how you do this farm. You're just going to want to get six plus people in this cave and just start spam killing these elite bears that spawn. I'd recommend being grouped up. Only five can be in a group, but if you're having more than 60, other people can start to group up because that will be much easier to start sharing XP among the groups. So people are all getting a share of the experience instead of one person getting a few hits, one person not getting experience, one person getting it all. It just helps with sharing the loot and experience a little bit more and tagging the enemy so people can get a lot more loot drops on the ground because these bears do drop a lot of loot on the ground even though it's low level stuff you can also get a bunch of the larger potions so mana potions rejuve potions health potions those are really good and they're actually selling for a lot of gold and then they can also drop stuff like the azoth bottles to give you a chunk of azoth that you can actually keep and store in your storage for use for later but the main thing you're doing this farm for is is for skinning these bears. So skinning these bears gives a ton of experience. As you'll see, I actually got maxed out in skinning in this farm, max of 200 skinning. And these bears give a ridiculous amount of skinning XP, like I said, they'll give you a good chunk of character XP, I think 31 XP every skin. And then if you're still leveling up skinning, like if you come here with lower skinning, but you're still able to skin these bears, you're gonna be getting skinning levels so quickly, which is gonna give you a ridiculous amount of character character experience as well. And then also while skinning these bears, you're going to be getting a ton of the base tier of hide, which you're going to have to start throwing on the ground if you want to keep doing this farm past like 10 minutes. As you'll see, I probably threw 10,000 plus hide on the floor and it despawned while doing this farm. It just wastes so much and you get so much of it here that you can't carry it. If you have like a setup group of your friends, I could definitely see people doing something where they have someone running back and forth storing all this hide, but there's just so much of it that throwing it on the ground is going to be the best option because the main thing and the more important resource you're going to be getting from these bears is red meat and you're going to be getting a good chunk of this meat every time i think i was getting up to seven 
but I think on average it was like three to five red meat every time you skinned one of these bears. And red meat is very important for leveling up your cooking, which can give a ton of XP. It's using a ton of cooking recipes, and it's currently selling for five gold at the lowest on my entire server. That's the lowest across every region. So if you're getting up to five and me up to seven red meat per bear, that's going to give you a ton of potential gold every time you skin one of these bears. So that is the entirety of this loot cave farm. I'd recommend going out and doing it, especially if you want to level up your skinning very easily. So subscribe if you want to see more New World or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this loot cave glitch farm. And thanks for watching.